welcome back to audience and we're back with our next panel discussion today and i would like to extend a warm welcome to our panelists for today uh, mr Sa uh, sanil sachar and mr sumit shrivastava for this panel discussion on how to create value for startups and innovators with respect uh, with respect to access to networks and uh, before we begin i would like to give a brief introduction on our panelists uh, first we have with us mr sanil who is the co-founder and partner of huddle and as part of their incubator, Huddle, uh, Mr. Sanil works with the portfolio to attain the short and long-term goals, uh, keenly focusing on the revenue strategy and growth. He's also one of the co-owners of the global sports apparel uh, brand called True and uh, looks into the global strategy and multi-sports growth of uh, True Socks in India. And Mr. Sanil also focuses his efforts to enable startups on their go-to-market strategies and revenue models as a base for their growth. And he's also a national best-selling author and one of the few writers in the country who has published over 125 poems, uh, 25 short stories, two scripts, and a novel. And he's also a guest columnist, and he writes for startup industries uh, for their entrepreneur magazine, Huffington Post, and Business World Disrupt. And he's also a sector agnostic investor, and this uh, portfolio consists of sports, media, arts, deep tech, and consumer good companies. So thank you for joining us today, Mr. Sanil. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Great. And uh, next, we also have with us uh, Mr. Sumit Srivastava with us. Uh, he comes with more than a decade of experience. And in 2011, he started his own firm in the name of uh, Genesis Design, uh, engaged in web development and online promotion. And in 2017, he stepped into grounding and guidance and started his firm, Genesis Edutainers, and uh, now called as Startup Chaupal. And uh, this is to train entrepreneurial mindset at the grassroots level, and uh, where more than 20 startups are incubated and working from across India with him under his supervision and guidance, where he is supporting them from ideation to the execution and uh, also the funding. And uh, with the belief that competition is always looking back and collaboration is looking forward, he started licensing and supporting startups in all domains and has been uh, hand-holding with promising entrepreneurs, not only as a mentor, but as a team member. And in uh, order to make it more uh, conducive, he has joined hands with Marwari Catalyst Ventures and has invested in a couple of startups as well. So thank you also uh, for joining us today, Mr. Sumit. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Pleasure. Great. Uh, so with that, let's uh, drive, uh, dive into the session today. And, uh, and I'm sure everyone's already heard this saying. It's been going around quite a lot that uh, network is your net worth. And uh, if you're ever worried that you're wasting too much time at cocktail parties or attending events, probably like the summit, you can now put your mind at ease because uh, there was a research conducted by the Economic Intelligence Unit, which confirms that uh, already it confirms what already everyday experience has taught us that informal professional networks and communities are more important for an entrepreneurial success than formal structures such as incubators or accelerators. And for 78% of startups, networking is vital to entrepreneurial success. So you may think of business networking as something you do at the later stage of your business or after your business becomes successful. But the truth is networking during the planning and the startup phase of your business can make launching your company much easier and efficient. And so to throw more light on the importance of networking and its values to startups, our panelists here will share their insights and experience on the same. So. I would like to kickstart uh, the session by posing the first question to Mr. Sumit. So, Mr. Sumit, uh, how important is it to have a strong network and to find new <laughs> business referrals and investors? Well, first of all, uh, thank you so much uh, for having me here. Uh, this topic is very much, uh, I was very interested uh, in this topic and that's why I wanted to be, be part of this. You know, what I always say that startup Chopal, I always say in all the events, wherever I meet people, I say I just started this company, startup Chopal, and people took care of it. My partners, stakeholders, the community people. And this was outcome of the networking only. So needless to say that network, how networking is important, because of course, uh, without network, without knowing people, you cannot do anything alone. If you want to achieve something, you have to have people around you like-minded people around you and for that you need to meet new people they will help you they'll, they'll 
never let you stop you know because in your journey if i i'll talk about myself i started this company and i was in my journey there were so many hurdles there were so many things that i didn't knew, didn't know and there were people who were guiding me telling me and that's why we have um, reached wherever we are today and still we are working on that right so first we started working in the uh, in rajasthan then nationally now we are going international and only networking is playing vital role in this so um, most important mamansha everybody knows that in networking is very important everybody knows you know people don't know how to do networking right they believe that if you become a vendor uh, you know vending machine of uh, your visiting card this is networking no this is not networking you know you need to identify good people who can understand you you give in 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 a networking session of 200 people if you go and if you start giving card to everyone you will end up uh, meeting no one right so you need to select four five people go meet them and then uh, try to have a coffee one to one and then you will get connected and there should be heart to heart communication so i believe in that so networking plays a vital role and if you if because because researchers say you know the experts agreed that um, often most successful people are the well connected people so if you want to be successful you have to be connect with people you cannot do anything alone so this is my input on that great Yes, uh, that's. I definitely agree with you, uh, Mr. Sumit. Uh, a lot of, I mean, everyone knows that networking is important, but how to do it? Yes, we'll get back to you on that. And uh, with that, uh, my next question is to Mr. Sanil on: uh, Should partnership opportunities be considered as important as well? Yeah, no, absolutely. Uh, I, I think you know. Uh, I just want to really acknowledge what. Uh, was said by sumit you know uh, less is more uh, in you know in terms of who you want to uh, partner with in in the events where back in the day i would say when we'd all be in a in a room together and now this is the room we're in so i think uh, you know i i resonate 100% with i mean i think it's a testament in the work they also doing in the grassroots uh, work uh, that they've been doing and now moving from an international level i think they've also done it in a very bite sized manner uh, and responsibility has to be delegated which is linked to you know what you have uh, the question you posed that i think partnerships are extremely uh, vital now more so uh, they've always been vital but i think uh, the ability for startups um, and i think even corporates have to act like startups which they do the most successful ones bank on partnerships of other organizations that are stronger than they are so a partnership first can only happen when you acknowledge where you are weak where someone else is strong and where there's a common link of what you want and what they want if uh, i had to create a hypothetical sumit and i are our uh, colleagues of the same uh, space a universal startup none of us call each other competition for the simple reason we're building the same founders or at least that's our ambition now the way we delegate what we do has to be a fine line of acknowledging uh, the territory we want to own it's as simple as that but not that it's not an it's not a matter of land grab fast it's a matter of land grab individually with the same goal so if i had to give an example of people that have done it really well um it's all you know these examples are all about companies that have first acknowledged their competitor as their companion um and moving forward i think you know to sort of conclude i think for startups uh, rather than you know giving just the example of us as enablers as, as investors in companies startups first need to figure out who their core client is also figure out who their core client is consuming if there is consumer package good let's take that example and partner up with them for bundling partner up with them for distribution so i firmly believe uh, when you uh, acquire the trait of being open to uh, acknowledging what you're not good at is when your partnerships are going to work in your favor wait thank you mr sanil and uh... Mr Santosh has joined us uh, Mr Santosh Ganesh is the founder and director for GCP IT and to spice up the panel discussion he has uh, joined uh, joined in as another panelist so sir uh, please do tell us uh, and i would like to ask the same question i posed to Mr Sumit how important it is to have a strong network to find new businesses or referrals or investors yeah so the good very 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 much relevant questions uh, uh, if you look into the entrepreneurial ecosystem perspective uh, network and networking uh, is 
still i could see uh, let me just tell you the perspective it uh, if you look into the indian uh, entrepreneurial ecosystem or the mindset that they have they still don't value the network first second thing is basically that if at all they just understand they understand the word called network is net worth but they don't understand the meaning of it why i have seen many of our uh, uh, you know delegates or the startups or the uh, entrepreneurs probably will be going to each an exhibition or the conference that will be that will be happening in their city and then they say i went there i see i have seen this and that and they feel happy and they do the, don't they don't even do anything after that they there are several different type of people i should say uh there are one type of people who probably will be going there and he will keep no, uh, you know knocking each and every one whoever whichever the delegates are there or probably when in the virtual platform we will see they will be spamming spamming the uh, through their whatsapp messages or the link messages and various other thing and they say that they are doing network the 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 challenge is here is basically that our entrepreneurial or probably the startup ecosystem are still not realize that if at all if you would like to be the one of the successful entrepreneur is the first few orders only can come through the reference because you are very no, you are not known to the community or you are not known to the market that you are planning to reach so the most important thing is basically that whenever you go you don't try to sell yourself or sell the product or services that you have rather you just build the rapport to see to it that you are able to carry a relationship which probably will be helping you to take the advantage of the relationship that you have until and unless you are creating your own personal brand the way you treat the relationship or the engagement that you do whenever you meet somebody it may be your friends it you may be your colleague it may be your co uh, partner it may be your uh, partners uh, uh, marketing partner it may be the sales partner it may be the tech partner it may be the service partners and anything so it's totally has to be clearly has to be understood is basically when you are talking about the network network means it's everything it's not about that it has to be treated that it is only the customer as a network or customer has to be very politely handled so there are many startup if you look into if you just go as a customer probably they will be having a different face once you go as a collaborator or you just twist while you are discussing the uh, thing for uh, from a customer to a collaboration perspective probably they will be not be very uh, having comfortable tone to answer or to receive you the way they are supposed to do it so the word call network is highly confused in the entrepreneurial ecosystems in india and probably i don't know about the uh, outside india but they i have realized one key differential point is basically that at least whatever the purpose the international delegates come for they at least do that work very very carefully before they do anything else so if at all if you are attending uh, any program or anything from the network perspective you sh- should not only think of that i'm just going there i'm going to collect the visiting card and that is going to be uh, there is the end of this which is not that network is very much important our network starts with only the relationship that you build okay so yeah. i should put this network and network i should put network only is possible when you build relationship yeah yes thank you sir and uh, with that uh, and also i think uh, sir's point was quite uh, you know in uh, alignment with what uh, mr sumit made of it's just not important to have you know a lot of uh, people in the network but to keep up the relationship so with that i would like to uh, pose another question to mr sumit on uh, how does network help in gaining feedbacks and ideas uh, you can probably you know answer the question with some examples of your own yeah over to you 
you know what happens i'll give you a few uh, few example of my uh, so i'll be giving example of uh, mine only you know because this will be better uh, because whenever somebody asks questions i have use cases so i want to give that that will be more authentic and i'll be also be convinced that whatever i am saying is not bookish right and what just uh, he i mean uh, santosh ji is master of networking so uh, he, he he you know uh, captured everything which which was required but yes so you know what i'll give you a very small thing you know people from bengaluru chennai send me a screenshot as sumit there is one smelling mistake on your website right i don't know them i know them virtually somebody send me uh, send me that a form is not working on your web- website why they are doing that you know this power of networking we met somewhere they are connected today in the morning i was part of one networking event there was 40 50 people i was one of uh, guest guest for that i saw how people were connected to each other and after completion of that program there were so many requests on my linkedin people send the messages and there was so much synergy i approached them as well i talked to them and i'm very sure that we are going to do something uh, in near future number 2 in a startup chapal there are so many stakeholders you know they have invested in startup chapal they are part of startup chapal like nitin sethi who is founder of indigo uh, founders of vodic venture there are so many people you know from indore and everywhere and they are part of this uh, they are uh, eco india ke founder they are they are, they are two people from usa they are part of this and you know what i met all of them uh, all of them in an event right here or there you know the startup event happened i was part of that they were part of that or uh, startup chapal ka event tha they were there and we talked and we took the relationship forward you know so they were so rightly said by uh, you know um, uh, santosh ji that you know we go there meet see everything enjoy it have food and uh, get out of there we need to connect with people and for connecting number one networking requires transparency you know you do you don't have to show off you know what happens people meet meet and they don't tell what exactly they are what actually they are you know and when you go closer you you realize everything and then you realize that this is a fro- uh, this person is not uh, what exactly i thought of so my strength as a networker i believe i'm a little bit uh, of networking my skill is net of networking so i believe that i'm very much transparent i only tell people what i actually we are doing so whenever you come to my office you see everything whatever i have told you right so so you connect well you know you trust me you know people put money in our company without seeing my balance sheet without seeing any financials whatever i told they just ask for the account detail and they send the uh, send the money so and and this is my responsibility to give it back uh, in my, uh, and making it multiple so what i'm saying is networking helps a lot again i told you everybody knows that but yes not only so so there are three things i believe is networking helps a lot first uh, for me you know first to improve your skill set you know because in this ecosystem there are so many people who are so intelligent they know so much i never knew so many things and they were there to help me guide me support me so number one skill set second they uh, help me stay in the recent trends of the ecosystem you know so in your industry they'll help you stay on uh, with the recent trends and most importantly they'll always keep your eye uh, keep their eyes on you right whatever you're doing if you're doing well they'll be connecting you with the right set of people if you're doing wrong they'll be telling you but there will be honest relationship apart from this there'll be there will be few people will not, will be wrong choices so it will be your smartness to <laughs> say bye bye to them at the right time because uh, there will be disasters also so every the thing has a right and um, uh, good or bad aspects but uh, there is a very very limited uh, bad part of that so this is my input on that right we must up i i there, there are no more things to talk but i want to make it short because uh, sanil is there santosh is there there are people to talk more about it please yeah thank you so much uh, mr sumit and uh, yes we've been talking about networking but i would now like to ask sanil on what are the avenues we can use to look for mentorship and support um so you know i think mentorship is to begin with it, it's it's two ways uh it's a two way street uh a lot of people well i used to believe uh you know back in the day that mentorship was where you just ask a question and you get an answer uh and i've soon realized it's you ask a question you get a few more questions back um and i think uh, you know that confused me at first uh, but i realized that you know networking and mentorship goes hand in hand again you know i'll take a 
stage of what um, Sumit said. It's really important that you have to be. It's almost you have to be very sure what you need from the person, what they need from you, but your intention is not transactional. It um, that being said, uh, if it is transactional, transparency of how quickly you need it is required. so that you can get a simple yes or no from the person now why i say that is because i would be bluffing if i said i have not spoken to people with short term goals in mind uh but if i have posed it as a long term goal or posed a long term goal first and then posed a short term goal then you know you're only playing a fool's uh, game because you're you're the person who's going to lose out on a relationship and rightly so uh you're going to lose out on a larger 6 degree of separation that's what networking is right just leveraging the 6 degrees now with mentorship you know and and um i don't want to be uh just tooting on huddle uh, uh glory or work but we are a organization that is built on mentorship uh, with a fundamental practice that each time you get and and as a you know the fundamentals that uh santosh and sumit come with so you know we can all i i you know take the liberty of speaking on their behalf to also say that every time we speak and bring on board a venture we do believe a mentor is needed now the mentor is needed simply because i believe a mentor is on the curve of where you want to be what they bring to the table is essentially the network to help you take over that curve now network is not only people as as santosh was mentioning it's not it's also the relationships of your client your your back end of 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 the team you have that is also a network so i think what's important you know and and there's a large saying right it's it's not who you know it's uh, it's not what you know it's who you know i'm not in total agreement on that i feel it is a combination of who you know and what you know uh, it's also a combination of what they know you know and that is very important so when you have a net when when you have a mentor you have to be very clear of one or two questions you need that they will only then pass on the relevant network because many a time uh, and again i'm going to raise my hand and say i have made these errors back in the day where i believe everyone can create value and that is incorrect um so i think even when you go to a mentor you have to be very clear uh, what you need from them uh, you have to be very clear what you can give them uh, it's a two way street um in terms of learning the rest is dependent on how long term your relationship will be um and what i tell a lot of people and i and this is guidance for startups vc early vcs like us uh, as well is that find yourself a mentor in places you know you're weak again i repeat that i'm probably going to say that all the time because um, you need to figure out someone who will be able to you know rather than put a bandaid tell you you're not going to fall there and how you will make mistakes but get yourself a mentor before acknowledge be humble about the fact that you probably suck at something it's as simple as that great thank you mr uh, mr allow me just i would like yes. to add one line in this you know I, i'm taking time but just one line i i just uh, it is striking me so you know uh, on mentoring part uh, very well uh, articulated by uh, sanel i really liked it uh one thing you know mentor mentors are very impo- important this belief once you find the good mentor you need to surrender you know and and there should be a belief you know and uh, saurav jain one of our friends and he was uh, 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 vp of paytm everybody knows santosh and everybody knows him so he said one thing very clearly you know who was be- a better warrior arjun or Krish- uh, arjun or karn so answer is karn you know but why he got defeated because krishn was with arjun right so so if you are a less less talented but if you got good mentors you will win the game so but you need to believe you know if you don't believe your uh, mentors you will get nothing how uh, intelligent intelligent you are how resourceful the um, uh, mentors are it will not make any difference if you don't believe them and there is again the transparency and you have to surrender before them so this was this adjust i wanted to add thank you yeah thank you mr sumit and uh, yes we've spoken about the importance of networking and how we can use our network to find the right mentorship so santosh sir can you tell us on how we can leverage our networks to grow our team with top talents and to accelerate learning wow so complex question good so uh, the first and foremost thing sir i would like to tell you that uh, 
uh, let me just take uh, the question, previous question, that how can you identify the right mentor, right? So, uh, and the network plays a very big role. And uh, first and foremost thing that I have learned uh, from, the, from my childhood, that if at all, if you would like to do something, try and do it at your home. Right. So, have you discussed with your start uh, with uh, about your startup idea with your father, mother, uncle, brother, or uh, or maternal uncle or anybody or the far relative? Have you tried to reach out? So, first and foremost thing is basically that we believe whatever you would like to do, you should start doing it from home, and then go to the next level, then go to the next level. So, I believe that whenever, if at all, if you are thinking of finding out a mentor. First, you are, let's say you are just thinking of being an entrepreneur or starting up your business. Whom are you going to discuss with? First, probably you'll be, uh, uh, Sumit might, is my good friend, so I may reach out to him. The way I reach out to him to be the chairman for CIMSME in Rajasthan. So that is the way we should be reaching out. So it is the first thing that whomever you love, um, whomever you value, whomever you trust, Whomever you think that they are the good listener, you should reach out to them first. Or the person who have always been, uh, uh, I think the uh, person who has always been saving you from the crisis is the right person to be approached. Right? So first thing, it may be the family. Then the second thing is the friend. Then the far family is basically the relatives, relative, and then your father, mother, friends, and all those things. Now go back to the next level. The next level is basically that you might have graduated from an engineering college or the management college. Have you tried to reach out to your teacher stating that I, have, I am planning to do this? Will you be able to help me in terms of the compliances or in terms of this or that? from that particular subject matter expert. So whenever you are talking about identifying the mentor, it has to go through the multiple level checkbox and go to the level wherever you are identifying, probably you may identify one mentor who may not be able to deliver the entire uh, you know, uh, services that you're looking for. So probably you need to have a legal mentor, then there has to be a marketing mentor, there has to be a growth mentor, there has to be multiple mentors. So, it is not the mentor, it is the purpose that is going to drive you or the problem that you are facing it, how to solve the problem. If you are told, if you have a fire in the belly, probably you will be thinking of how fast can I reach out to a right person who probably will be able to help me to come out this crisis that I am in. Because if I am not able to manage my crisis being a founder director, how I am going to transfer the equal amount of energy to my team because whatever I do or whatever the way I handle the crisis is totally get transferred to my next level of team and they learn from there. So now let's understand that we are now the second question was basically that how do you involve your network to create a better, uh, you know, uh, efficient team that is called peak performance uh, in the team, right? So. If at all, if you are looking for peak performance or the performance of your team member, it is it is totally depends on you. First, you have to understand: Are you able to understand the pain that each and every employee is going through, or the probably the competency that they carry, or probably the uh, uh, the uh, uh, you know non-availability of the resources or the availability of the resources to perform? or outperform in the, uh, in the job or the duty that has been assigned. So the, release, the learning curve of our your learning organizations only can happen when we go ahead and build a learning organization. And learning organization can be developed on a various way. One is basically that you may be having your director, you are a director, young director, but you certainly can bring various advisory board member who probably can bring the competency on the table and start mentoring the team and the board and then the team and then to the customers also. Now, people may say that how an advisory board member can educate the customer. Yes, they can play, the, they can play a big role even in educating customer because 
some of the advisor remember may be so so comfortable with you and they are so much close to you they can go and support you whenever you are planning to promote your product by either by giving the testimonial or conducting a knowledge session about the product and the importance of the solution that you're building so the first thing is basically that finding out the mentor is so very important the similar way how are you going to use this mentor or the advisory board or the or the retainer uh, advisor because there may be mentor there may be advisor there may be retainer expert that who probably come and fix your problem and go back so there are multiple mo models are available because now we are living in an economy which is called a gig economy and everything is happening on freelance mode so it is not that every time you have to have a resources in your pocket and start paying the salary so there is a better way to do it so now as part of the gig economy you are supposed to handle or manage your work or the uh, or the production or the development of uh, or delivering the uh, the requirement for the customer either having a full time employee or the freelance right so now how do you identify the freelance who cannot be trusted if at all if you don't have any reference point or the dots connected right so so it has got long way to go it is all totally depends on uh, as sanal said very clearly it's all basically that are you able to bring the trust on the table it's about mentorship or the networking everything is completely going to be threaded or network it's only through the trust people are trusting you people are valuing uh, people respect your word people uh, uh, people value your commitment that you have made to the customer or to your fellow coworker or to your team or to your manager that's matter so its value uh, so the commitment is nothing but the because since you trust or since you value the relationship you will be bound to follow or comply with the commitment that you made it so at the end of the time uh, end of the things i should say anything everything that you say is only the foundation stone is the relationship and the trust that you believe and practice and transfer thank you sir and uh, i know we started a bit late but uh, since the other panelists are waiting i have to conclude with this last question so this is uh, for all of you the last question is uh, networks should help others succeed yeah networks should help others succeed so what is your view on this uh, requesting you to limit the answer within a minute so i would like to start with sumit we must say my answers for within a minute all the answers i try to do that so so because because we have we have met uh, santosh ji our representative for that today <laughs> he is a sports person so we are really enjoying santosh ji we are really enjoying so uh, okay so very quickly uh, uh, yes whatever i just talked in this entire session it was totally uh, answer of this question you know network always help other people you know here in a startup chopal there are so many organizations are connected that digital marketing companies are connected there is technology companies are connected our startups come they uh, and since they are uh, connected with us we we ask our startups to go to them and they get the work done from them they are paying money to them digital marketing person so here people who all are uh, connected with us are getting benefited out of this networking and same and happening with me uh, at some other place right i am connected to some other people and they people are referring people to us and we are getting benefit out of it right so networking is always there to support others or and there is a chain you know it comes from somewhere it goes to somewhere and this is how things go so this is it for now and thank you so much for having me today thank you so much uh, sumit uh, over to mr sanil yeah so i i just three points on this um I, one is uh, we've got to as a you know for for networks to enable success you need to first know that are you uh, going to be the network for that person or that entity to help them succeed or are you looking for uh, success through them uh, so one is are you the giver or the taker in the network um, the second area you have to uh, figure out if you're the taker and you're you're expecting success what does success mean to you um, and define it uh define that success uh, don't only make it figurative make it transactional it's very important i think we should not all beat around the bush into saying that you know networks are not towards some transactional value um 
and thirdly um try and make it also very long lasting the whole and the networks are infinite uh, we fortunately will never have a network as large as we want one so make what you are trying to do very it has to have an infinite element to it regardless of the fact whether you reach success or not sometimes you want to you know we don't always drink water to quench our thirst it's as simple as that so you should know how to use your network beyond just wanting something out of it and uh, fourthly i guess what all of us have we've also said um, in many ways uh, and i would urge people to do that success comes in when you become a really strong negotiator what one of my mentors told me over 10 years ago and i'll always say it uh, in order to be a better negotiator negotiator you got to talk and in order to talk what you get is a network because you get to know someone who's smarter than you each and every day and i think that's the better success uh, the rest follows um, again thank you for having us i didn't realize how time has flown um, i think forums like this are uh, where you know we keep keep testifying what uh, mentorship means and networking means and all the success we're talking about thank you yeah definitely yeah thank you so much mr sanil over to you sir i think i have been taking most of the time i'm extremely <laughs> sorry but uh, uh, the topic is so relevant and so touching to me because uh, i have seen uh, last 3 years uh, i have been into the system and i have realized that uh, first of all thing the mentorship word uh, is not been well accepted because they always think that what can i get in a short term and move out so it's basically use and done that is what is the uh, that is the way uh, the uh, i should say most uh, most of the startup or the uh, entrepreneurs are trying to do and uh, that is not a good or healthy for the ecosystem because uh, once you lose trust and uh, that cannot be restored so here uh, the question was basically for whether the network can give you the success network definitely can give you the success that you're looking for it is the success of the company or success of about yourself is totally depends on the way you drive it being the driver yourself right so if you tell if you think that you would like to have a short term game or a long term game make the transactional value or the interest within the system between the all the stakeholder so that there are some value and people stay back in your network and they grow together the moment you see that you are just using the platform or the network only to take 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 probably you are not going to have a long lasting network uh, and that will help uh, you to probably you'll be heading to a catastrophic you know failure right so now one very important thing is basically that the success of your organizations or each individual only can happen when you know how effectively the network to be used for the success and how to be used yeah great thank you sir so i would like to conclude by saying uh, or if you're running a uh, okay this is been a glitch yeah so if you have a next clear up or you're running a fish company it is very important you know that you have this uh, community where you establish and build and also you share the conversations and experiences with this community and keep them in the network so and i think that's also the key takeaway for today it's not only important to have these uh, network or the connections but to uh, keep them connected and choose also the uh, the correct network or the correct person you need in your network and uh, keep them on a long term basis so that's all i have to say for uh, you know as the concluding statement and on behalf of gcpit and uh, mr santosh i would like to thank uh, mr sanil and mr sumit for joining us today for this panel discussion it was a very informative and insightful session and thank you so much for joining us and yeah a very very well organized santosh ji memsha because i used to do events i know how difficult it is to be on time but you people are all accurately doing things so wonderful wonderful thank you so much thank you so much thank you thank you so much mr sumit yeah so uh, with that uh, audience we're going to come back with another panel discussion soon so do stay with us and see you on the other end thank you <laughs>